Hi, welcome to our show, Karate and You. I'm your host, Master Art Bynes. As you know, Karate and You wasn't designed specifically just to promote United States Black Cat Kempo Karate, but all styles of the martial arts. So we may all unite in a common cause to help improve our country and make it a happier, healthier, safer place to be. If you watched last week's show, you were uh, able to see the June Ree seminar, which was held a couple of months ago in Lakewood High School. And today is a follow-up on that show. Uh, which was held at Lakewood, and the two gentlemen sitting across from me were two people who attended that seminar, and also they brought some of their students down. The gentleman to my left, again, familiar face, Master Richard Herbster from Rising Sun Karate Academy. The gentleman to his left, Master Mike Abruzzi from the Golden Tiger Karate Academy in North Brunswick, New Jersey. Okay, what we're going to be seeing in the next couple of minutes, uh, you'll be watching Grandmaster Ree and Grandmaster Lopez, excuse me, Master Lopez for that matter, I'm sorry, from New York, work together in a musical form called Exodus. Okay, Master Ree is the founder and the originator of musical martial arts forms, and here you'll be seeing exactly what a martial arts form is all, to, all about, and you'll be able to see the beautiful fine line of what the martial arts is, has to offer you. So what I'd like you to do is make sure that you have that VCR ready. Before we do anything, for that matter, take out a pencil and paper, write this down. July 23rd, MDA Kickathon, Martial Arts Kickathon, Lakewood, in, excuse me, Howe Township, New Jersey, because we're going to be talking more about that at the end of the show also. So without any further ado, turn on your VCRs, sit back, and enjoy the show. Mr. Lopez, how long have you been studying with Grandmaster Ree? Well, so I have been training for more than 17 years under her system. I started back in Dominican Republic, and then I started training with him in 1970. 1970, okay, so you have about how many years is that? Uh, 17 years, sir. Okay, that was a wonderful kata you did, Exodus. How long did it take you to put that together? Well, I've been training, uh, doing Exodus for 10 years, almost 10 years. 10 years now. Uh, uh, he started back in, Dominican Republic and the team we learn it over there. Then uh, we practice to become a black belt. 
In order for you to become a black belt, you must know Exodus. I see. And where do you live now, presently? I live in New York City, sir. Okay, so you're all the way down from New York then? Yes, sir. Okay. I understand that you're also working on your master's degree. Yes, I'm pursuing my master at Hunter College and planning to finish now in May. Okay, and you have a karate school in, in Hunter College? We, no, in Hostos Community College, that's where I work for the physical education department, and we have a Junri club there, and we are planning to open a martial arts school now in summer. Okay. Mr. Lopez, that was an excellent kata, and it's a pleasure. Good luck Thank to you. Sir. Okay, Thank you, we'll sir. see you. Welcome back. Mr. Lopez is really a fine gentleman. You guys, how would you like that kata? Beautiful. It uh, showed his uh, 20 years of training. Uh -huh. And uh, it's really wonderful that he was able to do that, and yeah. particularly at 41 years old. Oh, yeah. That's why, you know, what we're trying to do is educate people as to the beauty of the martial arts, not just the punching and the kicking aspect, but the beautiful fine lines of the mar musical forms, for that matter. Next, what you'll be seeing in the next couple of segments is Grandmaster Ree talking to the 150 participants, for which, incidentally, he's never met before, about the importance of respect and the importance of discipline. And then what he'll be doing from that point on is he'll be getting involved with what we call God Bless America form, which is a kata done to the music of God Bless America. And you'll see in the segments how he progresses until in a matter of just a couple of hours, he's able to take 150 people and develop a beautiful, beautiful kata. Okay? Um, you're, you're doing that at your studio now, too, yeah, aren't we, you? Yeah, we introduced America it almost kata? a year ago. Okay. I think a lot of the studios now, incidentally, are doing the Godless America form. And Grandmaster Marie wants to try and make this a universal type of a form that we do throughout the country. So one day we can all get together and have a nice seminar and just imagine maybe, you know, thousands of people in the middle of a football field doing God Bless America form. Really Sit back and enjoy the rest of the show. How many do you understand what Kyosuke is? All right, Kyosuke is, when I say chariyo, that's the Kyosuke same thing, okay? That's right. Now, we are very, very, I mean, really uh, concentrating to teach our students chariyo and kyongye very, very neat because chariyo means attention. When I teach you, or if you master, Chariot technique means you know how to pay undivided attention. That's a very important technique. Everybody must must master chariot and the bowing. Bowing means you, you respect your teachers, and teacher also must respect students. It's a mutual respect, and so if you master how to pay undivided attention. If you master respecting teachers, then you are going to be straight A students in no matter what course you take. Can you see that? Yes. In other words, you are paying attention, 100% undivided attention. Then you respect your teachers. When you do that, if you learn that two techniques, not only in brain, but in heart, then you are going to become straight A students, no matter what you learn, everything you learn, these two basic techniques are foundations for all learning. <laughs> Step, punch, step. Oh no! Quiet. Back punch. Consciously, you say, I'm not going to show any lead motion. Whenever you block or attack, when you decide to block, you already blocked. 
When you decide to attack, you're already attacked. Does it make sense? Yeah. And so I want you to understand that principle. Then you're going to score the point all the time in the tournaments. In the defending yourself in the street, you'll be very successful. And so what I like you to do in stand up is, not, not yet, one hand palm like this, and one will try to punch. All right, when I try to punch, you try to move. Yes, sir. And that train you. Make sure you do not show telegraph motion. Can you hear me back there? Yes, sir. All right, watch me, boom. Okay, so don't show nothing. All right, when you decide to get punched. And so you can perfect this. And every time, 100%, you can do it. Otherwise, you cannot give a demonstration betting your own $100. You have to be awfully sure of yourself, right? Yes, sir. And so how that come? Practice. practice. What kind of practice? Regular practice. Perfect practice, make perfect. Wrong practice make wrong perfect. <laughs> Very good. Don't think of punching, you must punch. Good, smart boy. Okay, why don't you stand this way? I have more right okay. there. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, relax. You, you're too tense. Let's just see your hands are not moving fast. Just relax. Bang! Go. Relax. You don't have any intention of punching. Because all of a sudden you decided that idea. Switch partner. Switch partner. So you stand up. You stand up. Just, just plain relax and stand up. And your coffee on top of your head. Okay, this time, without moving any part of your body, only your left thigh and left knee and left foot is going to move. Nothing move. Head don't move. All right, that's very important. I just want you to understand that principle. Pay your attention like that. Your form is going to be so neat by doing that. All right, assume balancing the glass of milk on top of your head. You're not going to drop it. Ready? One. Two. OK, some of them like to yell, so let's everybody yell. Ready? Yelling loud. One. Two. Three. Okay, you're gonna turn around like so. Tiro, repeat after me. Tiro, tora. Tiro, tora. Tiro, tora. When I say tiro, then you'll be prepared. Then when I say tora, you're gonna turn like this, okay? Okay, tiro, tora. All right, now stand up, stand up. Don't, don't anticipate. Don't anticipate to do anything. You are not doing anything yet until the moment you did it. Okay, until the moment you're going to do, you are, you're not anticipating anything. Just calm, relax. Then suddenly you're going to kick. That way you're going to have lots of power. Ready? Right kick. <laughs> 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 All right, class two.
Oh, 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 don't move, don't move. Okay, sure. Clash chariot and nothing move, remember? After I chariot, we're going to go like that. Class. Okay, what you just saw was how Grand Mastery was able to develop a rapport, develop uh, some mutual respect with the students and himself, and started working on that God Bless America form. Remember, he's never met these people before. That's 150 boys and girls, men and women out there for the first time. And at the end of our show, you'll see the final result, the God Bless America form, and you'll see what the true martial arts is all about. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. On the next part of our show, what we're going to be doing is interviewing three different people. The first interview uh, has to do with a young boy who uh, Master Reese singled out because of his exceptional kicking ability, and this is Mr. Engels and his mom. And the second interview is an entire family from our academy, uh, the, uh, the Lanzas, who were on our show at one time previously. And the last interview, which I'll be doing, will be with Grandmaster Junri himself. And it'll give you a little bit more insight to his personality and meeting the man. So I'd like you to sit back, enjoy the rest of our show. Mrs. Ingalls, how'd you like the Grandmaster Reese seminar? I enjoyed it very much. I found it very informative. Where do you live, ma'am? We live in Cream Ridge, New Jersey. Okay, so you come all the way from Cream Ridge? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask you was, how long has your son been training? Because he seems to have excellent kicking ability. He's been in karate about a year and a half. About a year and a half. Mm -hmm. And how's his grades in school? He's an A-B student. Fantastic. Mr. Engel, it's a pleasure to meet you. Well, I know you. I've seen you before, right, from Mr. Everson's Karate Academy. Can you tell me a little bit about how you enjoyed the program today? I liked it. Yeah, anything particular you, that really stood out for you that you really enjoyed? I liked the way, like, he was telling us about... America and okay. stuff. The patriotism. Okay. That's good. People should start to realize that martial arts is not just learning how to punch and kick, correct? Yes, sir. And how old are you? Eleven. Eleven years old. Turn around so everybody at home can see Everson's Karate Academy, and that's in New Egypt, New Jersey. And again, their philosophy is, runs parallel with ours and most of the people here. Knowledge of the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. Mr. Engel, it's a pleasure. you got a big future ahead of you. Congratulations, and I look forward to seeing you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, this is fine to see the Lanza family showed up for the tonight's seminar. How'd you find it, Mrs. Lanza? I enjoyed it very much. I learned a lot, and Master Junri is incredible. Okay, I'm glad to hear that, because he works very, very hard. And you, sir, how'd you like the seminar? Good. Good? How old are you, Rich? Seven. Seven years old, and how long have you been studying the martial arts? Nine years. Nine years? Nine months. <laughs> nine months. Oh, nine months. Okay, and you, what, are you A or B student? A. A student, congratulations, sir. And you, young lady, Nicole, how'd you find the seminar today? Did you enjoy it? Yes. Anything particular you liked? Everything. Everything. Good, Mom. Okay. Uh, and what about your grades? How do you, what kind of grades do you get in school? A's. A's. And you're how old? Nine. And how long have you been training? Nine months. And where do you train? United States Blackhead Campo. Boy, that place sounds familiar. Okay, Mr. Lanza, you must be very proud of this lovely family that you have. How'd you find the seminar today? Well, I am very proud of my family, and I found the seminar extremely uh, enlightening, and Grandmaster Junior is an incredible, electrifying speaker. Oh, that's fantastic. That was a very nice compliment. It's a pleasure having you. I look forward to seeing you on Monday in class. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mr. Lanza. Master Ree, that was a phenomenal seminar you gave, particularly after just coming back from a three-day seminar at our academy. Aren't you tired? Well, when you do the things that you enjoy doing, then whatever you're doing, they re-energize you and you get more energy, see? And that's what I think I'm getting. You know? That's incredible. I hope when I you know, get around 50, I still have the same energy that you have. I really admire you, sir. Can you tell me, do you have any particular message that you'd like to send out to the public? Yes, I think uh, America is really has a lot of problems, and uh, but uh, I think uh, we can solve that problems by educating our young children and uh, making them not just uh, giving the message but uh, making them example by teaching them, and and, and and whenever they make mistakes, just don't neglect that, and just uh, until they develop their good habits, so we have to keep correcting and correcting and correcting. And according to my experience, there, I haven't found a child that I cannot teach. And anybody, and uh, we are willing to teach, and everybody can learn. And the problem is that you know parents and teachers don't know this. 
when they do things wrong and we have to be sharp enough to see every time and really notice and then we can correct and so uh, I think uh, through education right martial art education and martial art black belt means not just punching and kicking martial art black belt means true confidence uh, based on and and a balanced education that pertains to knowledge in the mind, honesty in the heart, and strength in the body. And again, this must be taught to our children and so can practice so that they can become example. Um, I had to, uh, I was taken back a little bit by the God Bless America kata that they all did, particularly that group of people that came up unrehearsed, put it together. That was really a touching moment for me. I'd really like to salute you and commend you on an excellent job you're doing. And I wish that if, you know, half the people in our country had 10% of the patriotism you had, this certainly would be a wonderful well, country. Well, I, I want to thank you for giving me that opportunity, really, so vice versa. And, and I, I do things that I enjoy to do, and you give me that opportunity to do so. And I hope everybody in the country will give me that opportunity, and I will not really sit back and doing nothing. I'll be moving, I mean, around the world and, and to do the same thing the rest of my life. That's my commitment. That's wonderful, Master Reed. Master Reed, it's a great honor, and thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for inviting me again, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a safe journey home, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, that concludes our Grandmaster June Reed special, the seminar that had taken place some months ago at Lakewood High School. Master Herbst, do you have any closing comments? Well, Master Bynes, you and I both met uh, Grandmaster Reed about two and a half years ago. And he's made some very positive changes in my outlook of the martial arts, um, and I'm sure yours too. He's made some very positive changes in the way that I've that I've run my studio, and I'm very happy for that. And I'm very happy I've met the man. I agree with you 100 percent. It certainly changed my teaching methods within my school and my business practices, all in a positive sense. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done a lot better uh, uh, business-wise since uh, affiliating with the uh, Junri uh, organization. Mm -hmm. His philosophy is, you know. Just something that we all need a little bit yes, more there's of. No, there's no question. There. If you're interested in learning more about our show, Karate and You, please contact Grandmaster Art Bynes at Karate and You at TwoGoodTV.com. Art Bynes, Karate and You, dedicated to your achievement. This time when we close, we'd like to see the end result of the God Bless America Forum. Until we meet again, have a happy, healthy, and safe day. Good night. You see, sometimes we sing because we are happy. Sometimes we are happy because we sing. Sometimes we sing patriotic songs because we feel patriotic. Sometimes we become patriotic because we sing. And so let us all remember what our founding father has done for us. We're going to do even more than what he did for us, for our future generation. All right, let's do, play that music and let's try with the music where we are. Whenever you're ready, let us know. Music. Ready? Two. America, louder, land and I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, kick from the mountain to the prairie, to the ocean, wide with full Bless America, my
Then make sure you kick and knee heel back before you land. Then you have control. If you go like this, see I'm in a hurry because I couldn't balance it, right? You can tell, boy, he doesn't have any balance. But if you do like this, then down. Down, okay? 